everyone, I'm Lily. I'm seven. Today I'm going to read a story. Today this story is a Christmas Carol. No, Fred, I don't want you to go to your Christmas party. Ebenezer Scrooge shouted. Oh, come on, Uncle Scrooge. Fred said, we love for you to join us. Bah, humbug. Scrooge said, now, go away. I have work to do. Once Fred was gone, Bob crashed. Scrooge and Troy came into the room. Is it all right if I have the day of tomorrow? It is Christmas after all, Bob said. Scrooge growled. Fine, but you better be extra early the next day. That evening, Scrooge walked home. He had all the Christmas crawling. He did not like this holiday. Donate to charity, asked an old woman. Bah, humbug. Scrooge said as he hurried back, leave me alone. But Scrooge was not um, going to be left alone the Christmas Eve night. As he got into bed, his footsteps echoed down the hall. Suddenly, a ghost in chains appeared before him. It was the ghost of his old partner, Jacob Marley. Scrooge, Marley said, I'll come to save you. Three spirits will visit you tonight. Listen to them. Then he vanished. Scrooge thought he was dreaming. That is until the chime of the clock woke him up. At the foot of his bed sat the ghost of a child. I am the ghost of Christmas past, it said. The ghost took Scrooge's hand. The two went soaring through it into the night. They stopped by a house in the country. That's me as a child, she said. And that's my sister. I love her so much. She's gone now, said the ghost, but she had a son. Yes, yeah, Scrooge said, my nephew Fred, but I have never been very kind to him. The image changed and changed and the boy was older. Scrooge watched his young self. Talk to a girl. I don't want to marry you, the girl said. All you care is about money. You are greedy. Take me home, he told the girl. I can't watch you anymore. The girl nodded and Scrooge was back in his mansion. When the clock chimed twice, Scrooge woke up again. This time, a giant ghost in green robe sat on his bed. I am the ghost of Christmas present, he said. Come, I have much to show you. Scrooge and the ghost were suddenly in a small house in the city. A family was eating dinner. There was little food and the family was very poor. The, then Bob practically walked into the room. He held a sick boy in his arm. It's dinner time, tiny team, he said to the boy. I know this family, Scrooge told the girls. Tiny team must be very sick. Will he be okay? The rock goes sadly said. The ghost, they cannot afford 
the a doctor. There may be an empty seat in the crashed house next Christmas. Night they flew to his nephew in Christmas party. I invite Uncle Scrooge, Fred was saying, but he wouldn't come. Of course he wouldn't come, Fred's wife said. He's such a mean old man. That's what they think of me, Scrooge sighed. I've seen enough. Take me home. The clock struck three times and Scrooge awoke again. He screamed when he saw a ghost in jaw grow at the base of his face. Are you the ghost of Christmas future? Scrooge whispered. With that word, the ghost nodded. It reached out its hand and took Scrooge. They arrived at a small church where a funeral was being held. The casket was small, a small, a tiny toy. <laughs> Bob Cratchit was there, and he was crying. No, no, it can't be, Scrooge yelled at the ghost. That poor little boy. If we had money, he could have seen a doctor. Bob White said. At least the mean old man is dead too. What old man? Scrooge asked the ghost. The ghost took him to a gravestone and read Ebenezer Scrooge. 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 Scrooge woke up with a start. The sun shined through his window. It was Christmas Day. Scrooge burst through his front door and out into the street. At uh, top, the top of his lungs, he cried, Merry Christmas, everyone! A delivery boy was running back. Scrooge grabbed his arm and gave him a handful of money. I want you to deliver the biggest turkey you can have to Bob Cratchit. Scrooge said, Yes, sir said the delivery boy. That night, Scrooge went to his nephew Fred's house. He brought presents for everyone. The family was very surprised. I'm very sorry I have not treated you better over the years, Scrooge told Fred. Merry Christmas! The next night, Scrooge called Bob Cratchit into his office. I'm giving you a ride, Scrooge said. More than that, Scrooge paid for Tiny Tim to see the best doctor in town. Tiny Tim lived for a long and happy life. Ebenezer, Ebenezer Scrooge was never again mean or nasty. From that day on, Scrooge brought a bit of Christmas into every day because the spirit of Christmas can be shared all year long. The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.